But the cooperative spirit is much higher than before, right? And no one is holding the secret. the reagents, you add these reagents and clinical specimen in this well, right, and then we'll put it into these machines. This machine will basically will analyze these uh, signals in real time. Uh, in simple terms, they try to amplify the nuclear exit of the virus in the reactions, right. So once the amount of virus is about a particular threshold, um, then you generate enough signal to tell us, hey, this particular reaction contains uh, the SARS coronavirus 2 virus. If you look at the map, there are many of these, uh, I think 70 80% of these countries uh, are uh, from different countries. Very few of them actually were the lower at the bottom of the list of the uh, in terms of TTP. The amount of tests, number of tests for them is pretty small, but then uh, we just want to help them. Uh, at least um, they can use this test to identify their uh, first patients. Uh, I believe that uh, Egypt identified the index case using our reagents. Um, also Sri Lanka also used our reagents to identify the, the first patients. So in the old days, uh, people are not releasing the information in time. Well. Right now they are. Like the genome, the first genome, uh, they just put it online. Right away, they try to release the information to other people and so that other people can try to use other expertise to try to tackle the problem. Just like I did. I am benefit from it, from their release. And then of course, my work also benefit other people. Right, so I think this is something that is happening right now. All the people just try to release the information, share the data uh, in a much quicker manner, so that um, the ball is rolling much, much faster than